Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech Odyssey. So today I'm here with a review of Tudia's Lin case for the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Now I've reviewed quite a few Tudia cases lately. I've re reviewed them for the OnePlus, for the Pixel, and a couple others for the Note. And this one is a little bit different from the other ones. So we've looked at the Merge case, the Arch S case. This is the Lin. And it's kind of in the middle. Uh, the Arch case is, is the thinnest of the three. And then the Merge case is the two-piece series. It's got the polycarbonate outer shell. Uh, the TPU inner shell all works together. It's super protective. And this one kind of falls in the middle. So this one you can pick up for, wait for it, a surprising $8.90 on Amazon in all three colors. So it comes in navy, it comes in gray, and it comes in black. So it's got a great price. A couple different color options. Uh, check that out. So... I have the navy one, and I actually happen to like this color a lot. It looks really good. It's got this nice flat finish to it, but then it has the carbon fiber looking texture at the top and on the bottom. And it's nice uh, thin walls around the edges, so that way you can plug things into the bottom and have easy access to get to the stylus. So let's go ahead and put the case on the phone. So as you can see, it pops on there nice and easy. It's a, it has reinforced bumper, bumpers, which gives you extra shock and impact protection in case you drop it. Uh, it is made from TPU and it has a soft touch, durable feel on the outside. So one thing that's nice is it does have a pretty decent grip on the edges here. The material itself is a little slicker than I would like. Uh, usually whenever you have the, the bumpers on the sides, if they're textured, they usually have a bit more grip. Now they do have extra grip, you know, whenever you're holding on to it, but the material itself is not overly grippy. So I'd like to make that distinction. Grip, yes, grippy, no. And of course the phone is a little wide. It's, it's something that's a little difficult for me to hold because the phone is so large, you know, one-handed. Uh, some other people, it may be perfectly fine, but maybe after you use it for a little while and get it broken in, uh, it might be a little bit easier to hold. Uh, it does have the recess cut out for the cameras, the biosensor and the fingerprint sensor. So those are nice, easy to find, and well protected, especially if you place the phone down, as most people are apt to do. It has the oversized lip uh, all the way around the front of the phone, so that way if you place your phone down on a flat surface, your screen is also protected. I have a wet style film application uh, screen protector on mine. I prefer glass, but it's kind of hard to find a decent one, one that doesn't cost an arm and a leg for the uh, Note 9 and 2. It fits just right so uh, this one I did the Spiegel Neoflex big fan I like it a lot of course you have your buttons over here it's got plenty of feedback it's nice and clicky you can actually hear the click I'll put it by the microphone it might have been picking it up anyway this microphone's pretty good uh, it has a Bixby button over here along with the volume rocker so that works out great and then you've got a cutout up there for your microphone and then down here on the bottom Easy unencumbered access to get to the stylus and then easy access to the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and the USB-C port there as well. And you should be able to plug in uh, any different adapters, dongles, anything that you need to plug in. It should work just fine because uh, it has an adequate, adequate cutout and not, also the material is a little shallow there so it works out well. But that's about all I have on the 2D Lim case. I, I think it's a solid offering. It looks good, it's stylish, it's sleek, so if you like that minimalistic form factor, it should do well and take care of your phone. Now, it's not MIL standard drop protection rated. I really wouldn't recommend dropping this from anything. Well, I wouldn't recommend dropping your phone, period. But if you do drop it, try to keep it uh, around the three foot level because this one, even though it does uh, have these bumpers on it and it is made out of TPU, which is naturally shock absorbing and you know, shock resistant, it's not something that I would you know, risk the life of my phone on to go take it and chunk it out in the driveway. So take care of your phone, put this on it. It will protect you from day-to-day -day bumps and scratches and bruises your phone might get. It has adequate protection for small, short drops, but anything over about three or four feet, I really wouldn't trust it. So that's about all. Um, it's a nice case, looks good. Great price, $8.90 across the board for all three of them. So you can pick which, whichever color you want. Check it out on Amazon, and that's all that I've got. So as always, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section. Uh, I'll get back to you, and as always, I'll see you guys next time.